Piper with the weekend video and Saturday the 23rd of November. Start with Bitcoin this morning, another action packed uh, few days. Uh, we saw the low back in December, discussed that fairly completely. Uh, so down at 3170, five waves up, we've discussed that pretty fully. Um, we've now got this churn channel down. I want to thank Bill Adlard for the idea, as it were. Um, I don't often use churn channels, in fact, unless I should do. But uh, So at the moment, it looks like an A, A, B, C, A, uh, A, B, C, B, a five part C, one, two, three, four, five, uh, a vertical D, uh, and now this A, B, C at the end. So a couple of points here. Um, firstly, uh, this could be that I mean, in, in ABC parlance, the initial ABC could be the A wave. Um, this vertical thing could be the B wave, and this could be the C wave coming in now. So let's have a look at the C wave. It's come taking us down from about ten and a half thousand down to uh, about six and a half at the moment. Now we had the overshoot here. Um, this very rapid advance, ten and a half thousand. I find that I think it's a bit of a positive, the upside breakout. I mean, it's probably not that important, but uh, I treat it as a bit of a positive at the moment. Um, now, this A wave, I mean, if this is a C wave, it should really be a five wave form. So maybe it's a one down to there, perhaps a two, a three. Uh, this could be a four, in fact, coming in. Uh, and then we could see a final fifth wave. So that's one possibility. I want to just air that because. I don't, I don't want to get too carried away with this particular low. I think the low is important. It could well be the low, but I think it's the possibility of a fifth wave coming in to complete that. So um, just bear that in mind, as it were. Let's go down and have a look at the actual action we've seen since the low. Well, there are certain signals I look for. When I, I'm trying to decide whether it's impulsive, meaning it's new impulsive action, which would take us higher, um, or whether it's a, a corrective move. I mean, spikes are nice, and support levels are nice. Uh, so it's definitely a good buying opportunity. Uh, we've also got a five here, one, two, three, four, five, which is encouraging. Uh, this little blip down, which could be a two, another five here. Uh, now the problem with that is that we've now got an ABC. So, where's the arrow to go on to? so this whole thing looks like an ABC, so it supports the case that there may be a wave four coming in. Uh, we've then got an ABC, which could be a B wave, a B. C, and now we're going sideways a bit. So, but I would think if this is going to hold, we're going to get another rally up, maybe of the same length. So around six eight down to around seven four. So about six hundred points. So around seven seven hundred thereabouts could be another rally coming in, um, which will look impulsive, but it could just be this fourth wave I'm talking about. So that would say to be careful about. Um, so there's some potential here. It's certainly tradable. Um, I mean my my. Bitcoin group, trading group, will be looking at this uh, closely as a trade. Um, but, as I say, there could be this possibility we're going to fall back again, um, just, just to add, add the final touch to the icing on the cake, as it were, um, and that will then be the low. But I think, I think, I've said this before, but I, think, I think the low is, if not in, it's pretty close now. Um, I think a move below 6,000 would, would be very worrying, would change the parameters here. But um, another retest with a, sm a slightly lower low as wave five with another spike perhaps um would just uh, i think complete the picture here so we'll obviously be monitoring this as we go forwards uh, looking at ethereum we've got a similar picture ready uh main difference is a, rather, a, a deeper correction uh, five waves up a b and then extended c as it were so again we've got the spike um and it's just spiked on the 78.6 fib um, so again, the same parameters really, we, we could, you know, this might be the low, but then we could see a final fifth wave. If we do, I shouldn't think it'd go much lower, uh, unless of course it's something completely different. Now well, looking at FTSE, we had a nice buy signal during the week. In fact, I, I, on Thursday's video, I suggested buying FTSE, um, either at the current level, which is around, I think, 7.2.10 at the time, or on a false break below 7.2. Um, pattern was quite clear, one, two, three, four. Five, followed by an A, B, and a five part C. Uh, so it doesn't come much clearer than that, really. Uh, so let's have a look at the action since that lowered around a seven two. Now she's quite a good example of um, when Elliot doesn't, well, 
it doesn't work. It's not really quite the case, but uh, it's, it's not it's not meant to work all the time. But there's no clear five here. I mean, it looks more like an ABC, um, which rather put me off. In fact, we got this deep correction. It actually stopped me out. Uh, I didn't actually. But if those of you who went long, um, hopefully caught this uh, this move, which looks like a five. One, two, three. Bit of a triangle. Uh, four and a five. Which could be wave three. I mean, it could be an ABC, I suppose, having seen that uh, initial A, well, ABC form. Um, depends on this. So this this uh, sees one more rally. That'll give us five waves up, um, and that'll that'll suggest that the low's actually in, and we then buy the uh, the correction that follows on from there. So I think footy looks very positive into the end of the year, um, and possibly beyond. See how far this one can go, uh, but at the moment we're probably due. Well, it depends how it works out, but uh, one more buying spurt, a uh, sell-off, and then I guess a Christmas rally will probably come. I mean, that could be a third wave, of course. I mean, this this move was uh, 160 odd points up, so you know we get I don't know 50 points down, 100 points down. Um, seven three is an area to watch, I think. Uh, we could see a very healthy spurt over the Christmas period, I think. So that's looking positive. Now the DAX, meantime, is looking a little bit different. Um, Looks like we've got a one, a two, and a three. Big spike during we're looking at it in a minute. Um, so this could be a four wave coming in, uh, which is not going to help FTSE's uh, upward progress very much. But then, of course, FTSE's only got one more ready to come before it sees a sell-off. So, um, yeah, that might, might have been quite well, I guess. Um, so I think the DAX could well see a bit more downside at this point. Um, and then, uh, again, move up after that's out of the way. Right, it's on the DAX. This is the uh, spike we saw on the. I think it was yesterday, actually. Uh, so, pretty solid spike there, but we saw the peak here. So, it looks like an A, B into the spike, and then I think probably a bit more downside to complete the uh, corrective fourth wave as it, as it, as it looks. Um, fitting in with FTSE having a, a similar decline before the Exxon's rally. Right, looking at silver, we have the one. Two, five part three. Uh, I think this is one of three. In fact, um, we now have a A, B, and then we've got this five part C developing. So I think one more sell off here. And just complete that. Um, a could be down, which will not go quite hard, but so we'll here around sixteen point three or four or thereabouts. So. Um, I think next next week or so should see uh, silver seeing as low. Uh, gold, we've got. Well, I think it's probably a complete move here. This is a change the count on the on the screen, but uh, I don't want to change that until this rally is the decline is completed. Uh, ABC, A wave, ABC B wave, and again we've got this one, two, three, four, uh, with a fifth wave still due. And A equals C around 14.10, which is 50% level. So um, I think 14.10, 14.20 is a good target for the low on gold. And finally, look at to the Dow. Um, back at the big end of 2018, we had this big low around 21,006. So I'm calling huge four. I'm sure there's a much better Elliott terminology, but uh, that will do. So a solid five year advance. This triangular two type thing. I think that wave three is upon us, um, but we've currently got this uh, little little uh, ABC, I think, developing, so a bit more downside uh, coming in, I think, uh, and then the Christmas rally. I mean, that, that, that could, in fact, be wave three of three, I guess. Uh, so, again, we, I think we've got some pretty spectacular rallies coming. I guess the US election is going to be a, a well-funded event, I guess. Um, anyway, that's all for today. If I find that interesting, you all the back of the report uh, on Tuesday morning for subscribers. Lots of opportunity right now. I think some very good trades coming in actually. Um, have a great weekend, thanks for listening and bye for now.